It all started with this shirt. It says the Isle of Lesbos, it has the little arrow to the aisle, and that was the big deal. Creating a cultural shift in the Louisville community, Alicia Pedrera was thrust into the spotlight after thousands of people saw the photo at the Kentucky State Fair in 1998. I always wanted to, if I was gonna get in this, I was in this for the fight, because I knew it wasn't just my fight, it was a fight for a lot of people. It led to her firing from the Kentucky Baptist Homes for Children Incorporated, where she worked for six months. I had two interviews and on the second one, when I thought it was serious that they were going to actually perhaps hire me, that's when I told them on the second interview that I was gay and that if that was a problem, not to hire me. She was hired and loved the job. So when the photo of her and her then partner Nance was taken, she had no idea of the repercussions. Her lawsuit against the company pushed her into the forefront of a movement that she was not expecting. Absolutely not, no. I was a volunteer, and as a matter of fact, I think Nance at the time was the uh, volunteer coordinator for the Fairness Campaign. And I volunteered, but um, neither one of us would have imagined. So how did the t-shirt come into play, and when did she wear it? This was a walk for uh, AIDS. And I remember a photographer came by, and um, I'm kind of a ham, and so we just smiled at the camera, and he took his picture and went on his way, and, and that was it. Out of the lawsuit, the Louisville Fairness Ordinance went into effect after three attempts on January the 26th, 1999. Given legal protection in the workplace and the right to live anywhere you want, that was a pivotal moment. I think it was a cultural shift for the queer community because we lived in fear. If someone were to find out, then they could throw you out of your home. I actually didn't live in fear, but my own, I was in, put in that situation when it all came out. My lovely landlords called me up and said, we don't care, you guys are great, we love you, we stand by you, you don't have to worry about that. Fast forward 20 years later, Pedroia finally got some type of closure in the court system, but not in a monetary way. I didn't get a dime, ever. As a matter of fact, I signed with the ACLU, Arnold and Porter and Citizens United to not settle. Um, because those attorneys all want to change law. They want it for everyone. So this shirt, worn as a door prize in a local bar, became a conversation piece, starting a conversation of change. But with all the heartache, setbacks, and the years of litigation, was it worth it? Honestly, <laughs> I want to say yes. If it isn't my fight, then it'll be somebody else's. For moments that matter, I'm Shirlene Shanklin for WHAS 11 News on your side.